because we needed it. We were, we were in a rural area. We got 97% poverty level. And we had been struggling um, trying to get to that uh, above the ceiling, so to speak. Okay, and it has proven that what Edison brought to the table worked. And at several schools, we have seen tremendous gains. I mean, in all of the schools, they're gaining. But in one in particular, um, the scores show a real increase in scores. It's really changing the whole morale of our school, not only my classroom, but the school in general. So the whole culture is definitely is about increasing and getting better. We've got a long way to go. Yeah. But in the past two and a half years, um, We've done tremendous things, and a lot of it has just happened in this one semester since working with Edison, definitely. Schools in South Carolina have seen increases in student achievement by partnering with Edison Learning and using its school turnaround model, Alliance. It was obvious very quickly that Edison's sole purpose in our district was the education of our children. Um, not to take over, not to point fingers, um, Nothing negative in Edison's philosophy at all. They tied together all of the pieces. I think they work with the assessment piece, but they also tie in strategies, they tie in staff development, they tie in the meetings, are all tied together. They're integrated in a way that you don't feel like you're doing different things. You're doing all one thing for one goal. At the core of the model is a focus on data using the benchmark assessment system, Evaluate. Evaluate lets schools see where students need help. When Edison came on the scene, because they focused to such a, uh, an extreme extent on the data and what the data shows, when you make those analyses, it, it really directs you to where the problems are. And that way, you know what you need to fix. And with Evaluate, students are engaged in their learning. The students know what they're supposed to do. They know, um, I talked to a student the other day that was a little down because they hadn't met their goal. And I said, well, I said, what can you do about that? And they said, well, first of all, it was author's craft. And I'm not real sure about that. So right there, the child knows exactly where she didn't score well. So she said, well, I'll just go back and maybe the teacher can help me with that or I can talk with someone else. But just the children knowing the skills and what they're supposed to know, um, that, that is more present now than ever. It's made them more aware of what's going on. Um, they know that once a month they're going in the computer lab and they're going to take their Edison reading and math assessments. They know that we are monitoring them very carefully and that we look at that information and decide, okay, um, who needs a little extra help with that standard and indicator? Who's doing well? Um, they, they love to um, look at their bars. They want to make sure that they've shown the growth that they needed to during that, that month. They get real excited. They talk about testing and doing well and showing growth. Did we meet our target? Um, I met my goal. They're very excited. Building a culture and learning environment of high achievement where students want to learn is an integral part of the Alliance model. Dedicated, on-site Edison learning staff work tirelessly with the school to ensure this happens. Through the Alliance partnership with Edison Learning, in just one year, Scott's Branch Middle School was able to make AYP and be moved off the corrective action list. Administrators, teachers, and students have seen the positive impact the Edison Learning's team and its Alliance model has had on their schools and look forward to more. Well, I believe that the Edison pro program is really an asset to our school community and our school family. They've come in with open arms and helpful hands to help us in any way that they can. And I think we are going to reach our, reach our ultimate goal of making AYP with their help. I love Edison. I think that they are doing a terrific job. And they are doing it unselfishly. They are not thinking about themselves. They are thinking about children. And I think that's what we need to think about.